Hey, welcome to Dinosaur National Monument. This is the dinosaur side instead of the view side. So it's all Utah here. You can see the friendly Stegosaurus in front of the visitor center. The, this area, the fossils they found are all late Jurassic, so about 150 million years. We're gonna take the fossil hike, the fossil discovery trail. I guess it's about a mile, but uh, it ends at the wall of dinosaurs. So I'm really kind of excited to see that in real life. People have been walking through here for hundreds of years. Um, the site itself though, officially about 1900, 1909 or something like that, when they first made uh, the first kind of scientific discovery and uh, recording. I'm gonna walk over here next, but you can see, you know, this is where the rock formations start and everything out to the south and west is pretty flat. So, you know, if you're headed in this direction or really in either direction along the river, you're gonna be walking around here. And uh, the uh, large crevasses, you know, they're all over the west here. Remind me a lot of Roosevelt National Park up in uh, North Dakota. I was walking through those and the warning they gave you was be careful of bison because bison like to walk up there too. <laughs> well, here is, so you can see some graffiti, but we have an animal drawing of some sort. There's activity here. It doesn't really give a good explanation, but this is cordoned off for some reason. You know, in Europe, graffiti goes back farther than this. <laughs> Um, which is really kind of fascinating, but you know, ideally that's all uh, First Nationer. But the growth on the rocks, the bones that they found for the dinosaurs are from that Jurassic period, late Jurassic. But the stratas are all over the place. They just haven't found other dinosaur bones. So it is possible that there are bones from earlier in the Jurassic, in other words, older than 150 million, Cretaceous, younger than 150 million. So they just haven't found them. First of all, plate tectonics, I've learned, apparently wasn't a thing until I was, after I was born. Surprised that my textbooks talked about Pangaea. Cause I was going through school when that debate was still hot. Uh, you know, another ma amazing fact that this guy pointed out was, you know, right now I think the estimate of galaxies in, in the sky, viewable sky or not viewable sky, about 185 billion galaxies. Just over 100 years ago, still 1900s, there was only one galaxy. That was the Milky Way. That's all they knew about. Just one galaxy. So in 100 years, Astronomy is turned upside down. Just crazy. All right, I'm gonna tune in again when we get to uh, some bones. All right, we're on one of the side trails and walk away from my shadow. So there's uh, a lot of sea life here. These, all these little bumps. These are clams and other types of sea dwelling elements. So this is a different period. Um, it's the building with the wall of bones is, is back by the sun. Very different level and you can see the eastern plate uh, of the United States, which is basically the United States. Um, that's the plate that would have been driven up. The western plate would have been, uh, uh, God, just lost the word, subjugated, would basically, you know, move down. So the downward of the western plate would have pushed up the eastern plate like this, and that would have raised the Great Plains and the High Plains up out of the ocean. This area was ocean. Uh, and so that's how that kind of lifted out. The other thing on the Colorado Trail, I was talking with Ryan and you could see, cause we were at the top of all these mountains right outside of all the ski resorts. Speaking of ski resorts, by the way, we're about 150 miles west of Snowmass, the Continental Divide is just east of that. And then we were walking just south of that. 
But the ski resorts, so if you can see this, how this rock was, you know, just lifted out. The ski area would have been on this back side. This is the smoother side, the less, less cliff oriented. And the side the back of the mountain would have been, would be and is uh, this side that got jacked out of the ground because that's where all the jagged and you couldn't ski down that. The idea of back bowls is, you know, fairly rare. Only a few resorts have back bowls. And so that would mean that this part that got jacked out would have to be, you know, somewhat smooth or eroded smooth so that you could ski it and not fall off a cliff. Uh, I just, I love these formations here. And the great plants. Well, as you can tell, the sun is setting. So thank you for tuning in. This is Dinosaur National Monument. Um, why is it a monument instead of a national park? My understanding, because we do a lot of national parks, may have mentioned this before. My understanding is a monument is uh, executive branch declared, executive branch budget. Once it becomes a national forest, national park, uh, that's congressional budget or they're the ones that have to set that budget. Um, somebody knows a little bit better than I do about dinosaurs, about this park, uh, about what I just said about the politics, please make a comment. Love to hear it. And if I've completely misinterpreted how these plates moved, remember the idea of plate tectonics? came after I was born. So <laughs> if you know more, please correct me. I really, I, I, I like your comments and um, uh, I learn a lot. So please uh, provide some comments. This is uh, Hike360. Uh, Swiss Cheese Trails is my uh, other channel for hikes outside of the United States. Ryan is funny because Ryan is following me. We got a, a, his first marathon in Boise, and so we're taking a road trip, but he started in Georgia, I started in Chicago, so he's a day behind me. He was racing at the end of today as I was racing to get, he's going to the Badlands. So he's kind of in this same kind of you know, terrain. He's camping in the Badlands tonight, uh, and then uh, we'll get closer to Boise tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna get pretty close. I'm gonna be in, um, you know, going through and pretty close to Boise if not in Boise tomorrow night. But uh, I got uh, Provo I'm gonna check out, and Sundance, Park City, I've never been into that range. Um, Salt Lake, really haven't spent much time. I've been there a couple of times uh, for business. And so I'll check that out and then I'll head up into Idaho. We've got some adventure here and it's pretty neat. Uh, Ryan and I will split up again after Boise. Uh, be pretty exciting to see his marathon. I'm doing a 10K. And that's kind of the uh, real-time plan. Of course, when this video drops, we'll have finished that. Uh, Ryan has a half marathon coming up after that, and then another half marathon in Joshua Tree, and I think we signed up for another uh, park run. So we're, we're going to definitely, between he and I, this Hike 360 channel is going to be inundated. It already is. I'm so far behind on, on videos that, that Ryan's done of his hikes across the country, so i, I got to catch up. Um, it's great stuff. I, I love when we're hiking together and I'm really excited when uh, he or I have our, our opportunity to, to hike it alone. So stay tuned, stay with us, subscribe, tell your friends. Thanks for tuning in.